Hi guys, how are you all? Welcome back to another tutorial. If you've not been here before, my name is Nikki Pasquier. I'm a Canva certified creative and I help you use Canva to market your brands online. Today you're going to learn how to adjust the speed of a Canva animation using a relatively new Canva feature. And the good news is it's available to all Canva users. Now it may not seem terribly exciting adjusting the speed of an animation, but actually it's incredibly important because in some projects you'll want the animation to go slower and then in other projects you'll want to speed up the animation for eye-popping effect. And I touched on the subject recently when I was creating my animated YouTube end screen. I had to make sure that the end screen was 20 seconds long and adjusting the animation time was incredibly important. If you want to animate text, for example, there may be times when you want to slow the animation down so that it's easier for your audience to read. And on other occasions, you may want the animation to go super fast for incredible effects. And of course, once you learn how to do this, you'll really be impressing your audience on social media and grabbing eyeballs. Before we make a start, please do remember to subscribe to my channel, turn the notifications on so you're aware of when I publish a new video, and of course give this tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So over to Canva, and I'm on the Canva desktop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a template, and I'm going to search for the social media the animated social media template. So click on that once to bring it up onto my screen. And I'm going to start off with a blank one. Now, the first thing you may notice is in the top left hand corner of your toolbar, there is a little stopwatch icon with five seconds next to it. Now, the animated social media template always defaults to five seconds. And this is what we're going to use to control and adjust the speed of your animation. And it'll all become clearer to you as we go through the tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start editing my template by selecting the background and I'm gonna change it to a black background. And I'm then gonna start by adding some text. So over to the left hand sidebar and I'm going to select on text. You can either select from the brand fonts if you have Canva Pro. These are part of your brand kit. Or you can use any of these fantastic fonts below. And you can see they really are incredibly eye catching. So just have a browse through and get some inspiration. I'm going to start off by selecting one of my brand fonts here click on it once to bring it up onto my template. Just going to reposition it here. And then I'm going to type how to. Click on a corner button here to increase the size and reposition it so that it's central to the template. Okay, so I'm going to select the font and I'm going to change the color using my primary brand color pink. I'm going to Duplicate this page by clicking on this little button here. Then I'm going to add some more text. And I was really inspired by this particular font here. I really like it. So I'm going to click on it once to bring it up onto my template. Now you can see that Canva has grouped all of these different lines together. So I'm just going to ungroup them so that I can then delete what I don't want. So I'm going to delete that one and that one. I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to change the lettering so that it reads adjust. It's a little bit big, so I'm just going to pull that out and use one of the corner buttons to adjust the size and then drag it back into the center of my template. Brilliant. So I've got one page that starts how to and then the second page reads how to adjust. Excellent. And I think while I'm at it, I'm going to change the color to my brand sort of turquoise color, teal turquoise color. There we are. I'm going to add a brand new page. I'm not going to copy this page. I'm going to add a new fresh page and I'm going to add some more text. So back over to this particular text here because I like it. And I'm going to ungroup it. 
oh, get rid of the lines that I don't want and I'm going to type animation and I'm going to keep it split onto two lines actually but I'm going to add a hyphen here just so that it's clear it's all one word like that and now comes the fun part I'm going to add the lettering for speed so over to the left hand side again click on the text tab and I'm going to add some more text and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to search for a text that I particularly like which is Shrik, whoops, hand. There we are, that's changed to Shrik hand. I'm just going to rotate it slightly and I'm going to increase the size a little bit too. There we are. And now I'm going to change the alignment by clicking on this little button here so that it's left aligned. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the first letter which is of course S. I'm going to select this letter and I'm going to go up to the text effects. Now this is relatively new so you may or may not have discovered it yet so if I click on effects you'll see that there are one, two, three, six, seven, eight new text effects and they are all free to use. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on splice. If I zoom in a little bit, the letter is grey and it has a white outline. Now I'm going to change the colour by highlighting the letter, going up to the top here to the text colour button and clicking on yellow. Now you can see that there's now a yellow outline to the letter. And I'm going to go back into effects and I'm going to change colour fill to pink. And I'm actually going to increase the size of the letter once again. What you're going to do now is you're going to go to the duplicate button again, click on duplicate page and you're going to add another letter in the series. So that's of course P and you're going to continue this process until you've got all the letters in the word speed in my case. Okay, I'm just going to reposition that slightly. Now I've just tweaked the lettering slightly so that it's lowercase as opposed to uppercase because I think it contrasts nicely with the capital letters here. Now what I did before I started the tutorial was I clicked on the duplicate page button again to copy this page and I added a couple of really eye-catching stickers here and you don't have to add stickers it's just a little bit of decoration. Now if you can remember at the beginning of my tutorial I told you that an animation defaults automatically to five seconds. So when the entire animation is put together it will take five seconds for page one to change to page two and five seconds for page two to change to page three and so on. So it would look something like this. Yep, okay, that's enough, that is quite boring. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to speed up the animation. So to do that, you click on the background of a page. You want to go to the top left-hand corner of your toolbar and click on this timer button. Now, to increase or decrease the timing, you can either slide this button until you find the correct timing or to save you a lot of time and messing around, pop your cursor in this box here and just manually type in the timing. So for the first page, I'm gonna type in two. To confirm the changes, just press enter. There we are, two seconds. Right, now I'm gonna to go to the next page and I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm going to go to the timer button, click on it once, put my cursor in this little box here type two, enter, and again, that's changed to two seconds. I'm gonna do the same for the third slide. So I'm gonna make that two seconds as well. Now here's where it gets interesting. 
I want to reveal the word speed letter by letter, so I'm going to adjust the timer so it changes to just 0.1 seconds. And I'm going to do the same for all the other pages. until I get to the final slide. Now you can probably see this other little button next to the timer tab. And this button says animate. Now we can have even more fun with our animation by either animating pages individually or all the pages. So let me just show you what I mean. To add an animation to a page, click on the background once again, go to the animate button, and you'll see there are one, two, three, four, five, six animations which are available for free Canva accounts and a further five available for Canva Pro accounts. So let me just show you what I mean. If I select block, can you see how that changes the lettering on that particular page? Let me show you again. For the purposes of this tutorial, I don't want to animate any of the pages except the final one. So I'm going to go to None and select None. And I'm going to make sure that this little box here is checked, which says Apply to all pages. I'm going to scroll down until I find the final page. And this one I really do want to animate. So to do that, I select the background of the page, click on animate. I'm going to uncheck this button here, apply to all pages, since I only want it to apply to this particular page. And I'm going to click on neon. Let me just click it again so that you can see what happens to all the elements on the page. Fabulous. And that finishes off my animation. What I want to do now is have a look to see what it looks like all together. So I'm going to go to the top right hand corner of the toolbar here. And I've got the chance to play back the entire animation. As you can see, it lasts 12 seconds. I'm going to click on this little play button. And that's exactly what I want. I'll play it again for you just so that you can have a look again at how each individual letter of the word speed appears. And that's exactly what I want. Now all I need to do is download the entire animation as a video file. So click download video. Make sure you've selected all the pages. It's an MP4 high quality video. And then click on the download button. And that is all there is to adjusting the speed of an animation in Canva. If you do go ahead and create an animated post and share it on social media, please do tag me. I'd love to see what you create. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you next time.